Hi, this is Anna from the Well-Pointed Desk. I just wanted to really quickly show folks how I do um, swabs on the color ring with cotton swabs because um, I've had some people ask and I wanted to show that you can actually get um, pretty saturated colors with a cotton swab um, on the color ring because um, I've seen some people get kind of a more pale sort of washed out color and it is possible to get um, Pretty saturated with a cotton swab. So um, I'm just going to do a couple really quick and show you. I've got a Platinum Classic Forest Black. Um, so I like to dip the cotton swab in a couple times to get it really wet. Um, and then I'll go over it a couple times and then I'll dip it back in and do it a couple more times so that it's a really wet swab. Um, sort of the same way that I would do with a paintbrush so that it's a good drippy wet swab um, and I like to do them this way instead of just doing like one little stroke and you can see how that's um, a lot paler and doesn't quite give you a full saturation um, which would be more how you would see the color in like a fountain pen um, and give you that full rich color and it also won't give you any of the shading or the sheening around the edge that you would get with a paintbrush or a dip or a bigger swab. So, and you can even see this sort of paler swab is already dry where my wet swab is going to take a little while to dry. So anyway, so that's sort of, that's how that one worked. Um, and then I'll throw this away. I've got a little cup off to the side and toss that in. But, um, and then with the Platinum Classic, you know that that's more of a uh, semi-permanent color. I'll do one with, this is a Diamine uh, Sun Yellow, which is going to be a considerably lighter color. But the same thing, I'll give that a good dip, get that really wet. And go over that. And I'll give that another dip get that really wet and I tend to go over one spot a couple times to sort of simulate what that would look like um, for like a shading or sheening quality um, sometimes I'll just sort of let that dribble down and run so you can kind of see what that's gonna look like um, but yeah sort of get that paintbrush watercolor effect and see what that'll look like when it pools And that'll give you the sort of simulate that same effect that you might get with a watercolor brush or dipping the whole thing into like a an ink bottle technique. And this this works better like if you're doing samples and stuff where you can't dip the whole card into a bottle. But and then you'll get a nice wet saturated sample and you won't get that sort of pale, you know, but yeah, so you can get a nice um, sample with a cotton swab if that's how you like to do your samples, and then that way your cleanup is a lot easier um, than using a paintbrush. Um, and then I can kind of give you a comparison. I've got my regular paintbrush that I use, which is a Princeton number four Neptune and this brush has seen its better days it has seen hundreds of samples but and I even dip my brush a couple times to get a good wet sample but you can see it's a pretty comparable sample but I do feel like you get a little you might pick up a few paper fibers or a few cotton fibers that I don't tend to get with a paintbrush because you can use a slightly lighter touch. But I think when the samples dry, there isn't a real noticeable difference between the cotton swab and the paintbrush swab. Um, I have a couple samples over here that I did earlier. 
Um, this was one I did with a uh, dye mine. This over here was done with a cotton swab, and this one was done with a paintbrush. Um, and here you can see you get a little bit of the sheen and contrast in the middle of the sample, and here you're getting it off on the edge. I don't know if you'll be able to see quite so much in the video um, that I can see in person. You'll see a little bit, there's a little bit of the sort of what I think of as sort of paper fuzz from the cotton swab that I'm not getting with the paintbrush, but it's pretty minor. So I think you get pretty comparable results if you're feeling like, you know, paintbrush isn't, isn't what you like to do and you'd rather do cotton swab, I think you'll get pretty comparable results. And then the one in the middle is a single swab just to show the difference, but it's a swab that was dipped two, maybe three times in the ink before it was swabbed. So it's a little bit lighter than the other ones, but you get a pretty close representation. So my recommendation is if you're going to swab and only go across the paper once, definitely dip that swab maybe two or three times in the ink and get it really, really wet. Um, don't just do a single dip because I don't think it absorbs the ink quite enough. It'll be a little too dry. So anyway, I hope that helps out and gives you a little bit better idea of some other options to use when you uh, swab. I don't notice quite so much of the paper fiber in this one, but I think maybe the, uh, the platinum forest black was not... You know, the ink's maybe a slightly different consistency. It's not quite dry, but it does darken as it goes. So anyway, I hope that helps. And um, let me know if you have any questions or you want me to try some other techniques. And thanks for watching.